a new way to trap bacteria may help in the fight against a potentially deadly bacterial infection. Tuberculosis, or TB, kills between two and three million people around the world each year. This was made from all commercially available equipment. But now, researchers from the University of Florida have improved a method for diagnosing TB, catching more cases of the treatable airborne disease. A field study shows using a smaller filter that separates bacteria from lung fluid samples can help healthcare workers identify more cases of TB using a microscope. So in Brazil, where we did a a, um, a field study, we found that we improved the sensitivity, that is comparing it to culture as the gold standard, we improved the sensitivity from 61% to 89%, which is a significant jump. Proper treatments can prevent TB-related deaths and transmission of the disease. Researchers say the new smaller filter is a more cost-effective way to diagnose TB in areas of the world where modern TB testing methods aren't available. In many cases, in many areas, is simply not um, uh, feasible. And hopefully this method that we've developed will be complementary in more rural and resource limited settings. Researchers are now testing the filter in Western Uganda with the help of Doctors Without Borders. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Pillow.